All right, so uh, in this video, we're going to look at finding moments and center of mass. So consider a system of n particles with masses m1, m2, and m sub n located at the points x1, y1, x2, y2, and x sub n, y sub n in the xy plane. The coordinates x bar, y bar of the center of mass are given in terms of moments by the formulas x bar is equal to my over m and y bar is mx over m. All right, where m, okay, m is the sum of these masses here, okay? All right, and this my in the formula, this my, that's the moment of the system about the y-axis, and this mx, that's the moment of the system about the x-axis. And so to find my, we just, it's m sub i times x sub i, and we sum them up from 1 to n. So in other words, it's m1 times x1 plus m2 times x2 all the way to m sub n times x sub n. And then the same thing with the m sub x, it's m1 times y1 plus m2 times y2 all the way to m sub n times y sub n. Alright, so let's go ahead and look at this example. Let's go ahead and find the moments. Okay, find the moments m sub x, y, m sub y, and the center of mass. And then what I'll do at the end of the video, I have the points plotted, and I'll bring that up so you can you can see a picture of it. All right. So we have the masses m sub i are located at the at the points p sub i. So we've got the masses here, and we have the points. So at the point p one, there's a mass of four. At the point p two. We have a mass of 2, and P3, we have a mass of 4. All right, so let's go ahead and find M sub Y, the, the moment of the system about the Y axis. So it's M1 times X1, okay? So it's 4 times 2 plus, and then M2 times X2, so that's 2 times negative 3 plus m3 times x3. So that's 4 times 3. And when we punch that into our calculator, we get 14. All right, so now let's find m sub x. That's the moment of the system about the x-axis. So that's m1 times y1, so 4 times negative 3 plus m2 times y2, so 2 times 1, plus m3 times p3. I'm sorry, m3 times y3. And so that's going to be 4 times 5. And after putting that in our calculator, we get 10. All right, so now what we need is we need the sum of the masses. So that's m is equal to the sum of these masses. So that's 4 plus 2 plus 4, which equals 10. And now we're ready to find x bar, y bar. Okay. So here, okay, so remember the x bar, that's m sub y over m. m is the sum of the masses, and here we have m sub y. So that's 14 over 10, which is 7 fifths. And then for the y, that's mx over m. And so that is going to give us 10 over 10, which is 1. All right. So our center of mass is 7 fifths 1. All right, so our center of mass. So now 
let's go well and and also we found the moments like they asked to the MX MY and this is our center of mass so let's take a look at it let's plot the points in the center of mass so I've already done that and here it is so here's your points P1 P2 P3 okay and then there's the center of mass plotted okay? so that's what it would that's what it would look like if you plotted it all right so I hope this video helped uh, check out my other videos I got a bunch of other calculus videos and other types uh, so check them out give me a like share and subscribe and thanks for watching